Right, this is a, an imaging run with a program called Fire Capture. And uh, I've just come in from doing a, a session on Jupiter. Um, the scope being used here is a C14 and the camera is a DMK camera fitted with a, with a Sony chip, 618. And this is what Jupiter looks like when you effectively webcam it. Um, tonight the scene conditions are varied between really very poor, which is what's been normal lo lately, and, you know, quite decent. Um, certainly at times it was encouraging me enough to carry on doing it. Um, this imaging run is using a black and white camera, therefore I have to run these little movies through three different filters, red, green, blue, to make a composite colour image at the end. This is um, the green channel, and very shortly you'll see that the blue channel will come up, and that looks a bit of a fuzzy mess, and there we are, there's the blue channel that's come up. Um, yeah, yeah, blue as a colour is most affected by atmospheric seeing conditions, and that's just telling me my seeing locally isn't particularly great. Not helped by the fact I have to image over buildings on a chilly night when everybody's got their central heating on. Um, my telescope uses an electric focuser and also an electric filter wheel. Um, that helps because Jupiter is a difficult planet to image because it rotates so quickly. It means you don't really have very long to get your captures to avoid detail being smeared due to the rotation of the planet. A day on Jupiter is just 9 hours and 50 plus, plus minutes. So therefore, what I've actually done is I've rehearsed this routine. I know what the filter positions are. I know what the focus positions are. And it's a fairly easy task to just key these in to the program called Fire Capture, which is free. And then it just runs through the sequence. And that's the end of one sequence. And now we go back to the first filter, which is the red filter. And there you are. You can see the red filter produces really quite a detailed view for essentially a modified webcam. Plenty of detail there, the two prominent bands, the North Equatorial Band and the South Equatorial Band, um, and detail in between. Um, to my eye, Jupiter looks a bit washed out at the moment. Now that could be that my dew control's not very good on the front lens of my, my telescope, the corrector plate so-called, but I think it's okay. It could well be that, well, it's a red filter, therefore you don't get the contrast you would, perhaps with your naked eye, but you know, that's a not bad image and we can we can work on that. Um, the wavy line at the bottom of that image is just a histogram and that makes sure that I'm correctly exposing the planet to something like two-thirds of the scale along. And you can see I'm doing something similar for the blue and the green channel. Post-processing this sort of stuff takes a wee bit of time. It's not as bad as deep sky astrophotography, but nonetheless it takes a little bit of time. But the one thing you can see in planetary imaging, seeing is king.